Now then, it's the one that ended 17 years ago, but after much anticipation, the cast of Friends finally reunited for a one-off special. Well, the long-awaited follow-up to the popular TV show aired in the States last night. I think the HBO app has just crashed. Has it really? Yeah, and oh. uh, we saw all six cast members take a trip down memory lane before revealing some behind-the-scenes secrets. Well, as we sit here on the same sofa that you can find in Central Perk, we're joined by Hollywood reporter Sam Rubin to tell us exactly what happened. So, so I mean, we are, like, with bated breath. We're just also desperate to see it. You've seen it in the US last night. What sort of form did the show take? What did you see last night? Well, I, I tell you what, it is definitely worth anyone's consideration. If you're a Friends fan particularly, this is catnip. And a friendly warning for this morning Friends fans, we will provide some spoilers here. There's some big headlines coming out of this special, so we will share them. If you want to cover your ears or eyes for a moment or two, you might want to if you want to discover those on your own. Over 100 billion views, not of the special quite yet, but of the series over uh, its extraordinary lifespan. And this was really something. The show was almost uh, two hours long. And this was one of my favorite parts where they reread uh, scenes that they did together. And you know, these were the actors that were forever meshed with their parts. The readings were absolutely terrific. The front stage, of course, on the Warner Brothers lot, they recreated the set. And one very emotional moment is as each cast member walked onto the set, Imagine walking onto a set that, you know, you haven't been onto for years that's absolutely identical. The women get together. They did so for the Emmy Awards. I don't think the men have seen each other as much. So there were a lot of emotions throughout. It really was heart -taking. I have to be honest with you, though. James Corden conducted an interview segment. It's Corden's worst reviews since Cats. Oh, no. People thought that he was not... He was almost too gushy. Uh, and it would be like if I were, you know, hosting a reunion of Coronation Street. He, he just seemed to be the wrong guy uh, for that particular part. Oh, well, part. that's a shame. Oh, that is. Yeah. Um, there were yeah. some raw moments. Uh, Matt Perry, um, and he's been on here, he's, um, he's you know, sort of discussed his issues um, sort of fairly openly um, and, and set up his rehab centre. Um, he was saying how he desperately needed the laughter of the studio audience and the amount of pressure he felt when his lines didn't get the reaction that he wanted. You know what, Philip, to me, that is the most significant thing. And it's an area I wish they had explored more, uh, essentially, and maybe this is the odds we all experience in life, for five of the six, things have turned out pretty well. Mm. For the six of the six, for Matthew Perry, he didn't look well. We're learning that he had some emergency dental surgery just before the taping. So that's why I explained some of his slurred speech. And, you know, he's been very open about it. I've had the conversation with him, as, as the two of you have had on your set. He has been through it. And I think there is a residual effect in terms of the way he speaks, in terms of the way he looks. And he was saying, while all this acclaim and, and all this wonderful stuff was coming his way, he was saying, you know what? He, he felt like he was going to die if the audience didn't laugh. Well, I, Sam, and, I, and... I, I went over, I, mean, I was lucky enough to watch one episode, and, um, mm -hmm. and it was extraordinary how it worked, because if they didn't get the laugh they wanted, um, then they stopped the recording, the warm-up guy gave him one pizza and was playing around, the best warm-up guy I've ever seen in my life. Um, and then they all sat around the, the table in the flat and rewrote the scene. And Matt Perry was central to that. And he'd say something, they'd all burst out laughing, they'd all look at it, learn the lines in a matter of about 45 seconds, and then deliver it again. Wow. If the audience laughed then, then they were happy. That's amazing. No, they, they, I, I tell you what, sitcoms often will have the staff writers sort of somewhere doing that. It's extraordinarily rare, and it's amazing that you got to see it, that the cast does it. Yeah. And I think Matthew Perry certainly was a standout as Chandler and extraordinarily funny. One thing I do uh, want to show you guys are some other faces besides the Super Six that turned up. If you're into Friends nostalgia, you know, everybody was there. Mr. Grumpy was there. Uh, the Barbershop Quartet was there. Uh, Janice Wheeler, of course, with the, oh, my God, yeah. I can't really do it, uh, was there. The parents showed up. Tom Selleck showed up. Oh, my God. Uh, so every, it just went on and on in that regard. And then now this is the big headline clip, the big, big headline clip. Not were Rachel and Ross on a break. In real life, were Rachel and Ross in love with each other. Watch what? this. <laughs> oh, my God, that's so incredible. So when Isn't they were kissing something? on set, 
behind those kisses was a bit more real feeling. And they, Holly, they talked about that kiss uh, and how how incredibly powerful it was for them personally. And, you know, they had sort of, they had made this pact suggested by the director, James Burroughs, very famous sitcom director, to the six of them before the show started. Hey, we don't want to wreck this. Nobody fall in love and, uh, and nobody date each other. And so they tried to honor that pact, but uh, they clearly uh, had a crush with one another. Um, Another oh. thing that happens, yeah, uh, okay. you know, you would think, Go ahead. Just, just about, I was just about to say that, uh, that it didn't come without injury. Right, precisely. And normally, if we were talking about NCIS or, you know, an action show, you'd go, well, during that chase scene, uh, Matt LeBlanc here says he got hurt doing the show. Watch. That was the sound of his Ouch. shoulder going back in. Right. That crunch. Popping it back in. Oh, <gasps> my God, that's horrific. It was like someone biting an apple. <laughs> no, that, no, not good. Well, let's, um, let's move on to Smelly Cat. <laughs> okay, this, now, you, I, I'll let the two of you uh, judge and evaluate. One, again, I, I can't encourage people enough to watch the whole thing. It's very emotional. But did they do too much? So, for example, here, it is a smelly cat duet. Uh, Lisa Kudrow is Phoebe, of course. And here comes Lady Gaga. Watch. <laughs> well, that's not, the, that's not the first time she's doing it. Because she did it with good. Chrissy Hine, didn't she? Yes. It, yeah, in fact, she did. You're, you're exactly right. And, but it... it, it I, I guess that was in the context of the show. They lay, one thing they did here is they ladled a lot of stuff on. I, maybe to extend the length of, of the special, which, as I indicated, is almost two hours in length. Here is fashion show of sorts. And so you're going to see people who I think, you know, are only tangentially involved with friends uh, showing off some friends' fashions. What's sad, actually, is that Lisa Kudrow did reveal they will never do another episode of Friends. You know what, Philip? I respectfully disagree. I don't think that's sad. I think that's good. I, I, I tell you what, this to me is of a time and of a place that I, I, I thought this was risky and I was pleased with the result. You, you don't want to wreck it. No. You know what I mean? So, so we, we all, you know, advance and we all age and all that. But would those same scenes play at mid 50s, at mid 70s or beyond? I, I don't think so. So I, I like what they did here. Courtney Cox said, uh, incidentally, they'll never do this again. They may well do it privately, yeah. uh, but they will not re reminisce in this fashion. Initially, as you guys know, this was all to launch this huge HBO Max streaming service. By Because of the pandemic, the service already launched. This was delayed more than a year. And you referenced it at the top of our segment here. Uh, the HBO, HBO to go app crashed all around the world. <laughs> um, well, we can see it here tonight we'll on be, Sky uh, at 8 p.m. Looking so we'll forward to that. I'll be there, that's for sure. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. Yeah. Thank you, you very bet. much. Thank, Thank you.